Let's compute one more Ramsey number. So let's review what we have already. So we know that if one of our inputs is two, we can compute that. We computed that r of 3, 3 is 6, and we've just computed that r of 4, 3 is 9. So what's next? Maybe we want to do r of 4, 4. So let's see if we can do that. As an example, what is r of 4, 4? So if we want to compute this Ramsey number, the first thing we should do is check our bound. That tells us what our worst case that we expect is. So r of 4, 4, using our bound, this is going to be r of... 4, 3, plus r of 3, 4. And of course, even though we only have 4, 3 written here, the Ramsey numbers are symmetric. So this is just twice r of 4, 3. We computed r of 4, 3 is 9. So this is giving us an upper bound of 18. And in fact, it's a theorem, that this bound in this case is exactly right. r of 4, 4 is equal to 18. Okay, how can we prove that? Well, because we have the bound, we only have to prove one thing. So the proof by the bound, we know that r of 4, 4 is less than or equal to 18. So it suffices to show it's not 17. So it suffices to give a red-blue edge coloring of k17, the complete graph on 17 vertices that has no k4 of either color. So this is, this is what we're trying to do. Now, how can we do that? Well, here's the answer. So what are my blue edges going to be? They're going to be an edge between every pair of indices. So we're going to have j to i is going to have a blue edge. And here I'm assuming that i is less than j just to describe this. If j minus i is equal to 1, 2, 4, 8, 9, 13, 15, or 16. Why those numbers? These are what we call the quadratic residues modulo 17. OK, these are the numbers that you can get. Um, these are the numbers you get that are of the form i squared, such that, uh, sorry, mod 17, such that i is equal to any number that you want, okay? So it turns out that you can prove, and it, it's not a trivial thing to do, that if you take these for the blue edges, any collection of four of these numbers, there's going to be a missing edge, okay? There's going to be a missing edge bet between them. And the red edges are exactly everything else. So maybe it's worth saying. So red edges, everything else. Of course, that's what the red edges have to be. So even by brute force, if you're going to pick one number, right? If you pick one of each of these numbers, 1 up to 17, to be in the thing, there are eight possible numbers here that it could be connected to. So you choose three of them, and you say, is that a complete graph? That is 56 cases to check um, for the blue. Because you <coughs> pick a vertex, and then you check all of these guys. Okay, And for the red edges, there are nine things we didn't pick. 8 plus 9 is 17. 9 choose 3 is 84 cases. So the cleverness here is not so much in the proof of checking the cases, but in terms of coming up with this answer works, okay? Out of all possible red-blue edge colorings for K17, and it's huge, the number of possibilities here. It's more than the number of atoms in the universe. It's enormous, okay? And we can reduce it to something the computer can check, or we could even write this down by hand if we're patient enough. There are 56 cases to check that we don't have a blue K4, and there are um, 84 cases to check that we don't have a red K4. So that's pretty remarkable that we can get this theorem. So you might ask yourself, can we just kind of go on with this forever? And that's a really good question. Um, and the answer is uh, no, not really. So 
If we wanted to compute r of 4, 5, we could do a lot of work. So we know what is this by the bound. It's going to be at most r of 4, 4 plus r of 3, 5. Well, we haven't actually computed r of 3, 5, but that's something that you can compute, and it's not that bad. So um, r of 4, 4 we just computed. Um, we skipped a few of the details is 18. r of 3, 5, I'll tell you, is 14. So we get a bound of 32. But in fact, you can actually show, and it's, a, it's an incredible amount of work, it's a major theorem, that r of 4, 5 is actually just 25. Okay, so it's way below the bound. And it's still an open problem. So r of 5, 5 is unknown. We can compute bounds for it. And the best known bounds that we have computed through some of the methods that we'll go through in the next video series is that it's somewhere between 48 and 43. We don't know exactly where. Now again, it's not something the computer can just brute force check. This is something that's going to require a lot of cleverness to come up with a lower bound. You need to come up with examples like the graph that we just got here. For the upper bound, you need to come up with clever probabilistic arguments. And we'll go through a few of those in the next series of videos. But in general, Ramsey numbers are incredibly difficult to compute. And getting any kind of non-trivial example of the Ramsey numbers is an interesting feat.